Hey guys, Jay Snow with the Patreon video for you guys. So I have a little guideline to follow or whatever. Because I don't want to go too off topic. Also, as far as my health, uh, I was feeling a little bit better yesterday and now I'm starting to have like phlegm and other crap. I don't want to go into it, but yeah, I'm hoping to stream today because there's nothing to do today, but it looks like that might not happen. So, first part of the video, I guess it's just going to be the goals and everything as far as why I'm doing Patreon all of a sudden. I mean, it's been like six years since I've actually even asked for donations. I don't even think I've ever really asked for donations or anything like that. And then I'll explain, I guess, a little bit more into details, but it, those are only for people who actually want to hear them or whatever. So anyways, what is the goal? So the goal of the Patreon is to be financially stable. So for you guys who don't know what Patreon is, it's basically you pay whatever you want, I think, per month to your favorite YouTube creator or artist or whoever uses Patreon and every month you get I think you get a little bill or whatever you pay it and then the person gets a certain percentage I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is but it's not as bad as probably YouTube I think YouTube donations take like 40% which is ridiculous so my goal is become financially stable so yeah that's not a super realistic goal with just YouTube yes it is possible people are financially stable just doing YouTube but I mean with Patreon, YouTube, and you know, I like to eBay cards and stuff, I think I can hit my financial stable goal. And right now it's only about I think I need around twelve hundred dollars a month to do that. And I'm not I don't mean twelve hundred from you guys, I just mean, you know, adding to the total. Like I can do when I'm not sick, hopefully, I think I can easily do five hundred plus a month right now. I mean I'll still look for another job, but because of the whole drama on my other YouTube videos uh, with my other job and unfortunately my health it up in the air at the moment this week I mean it's kinda hard to get a job just to put it that way so what does the money go to so the money will go to bills so that means medical bills uh, you know rent I mean I'm not paying rent yet but there's another that's a whole nother issue with me and rent because for some reason I keep offering rent but people aren't taking the rent but I don't know why so bills charities so yeah I may throw some money in charities obviously I'm gonna look up what charities there are before I might, you know, donate to some streamers I wanted to do in a really long time, or other Patreons, because page on Patreon they actually they actually encourage you to donate to other Patreons while having your own Patreon. So yeah, there are some. Uh, there's a lot of people I've watched for like many years, and I just haven't had the few bucks to just throw at them, and they really deserve it. Uh, giveaways, yeah, money will go to giveaways. So obviously, if I see some games on sale on Steam, I'm gonna buy some games and we'll go give them away on the channel that's not a patreon exclusive thing I'll just give away whatever uh, channel expenses so that means my computer my computer is actually old as hell it's actually some of the parts inside this computer while it looks like a beast is actually from high school and that was back in you know 2010 2007 or whatever yeah to that like 2009 or 7 or something like that so yeah the parts are actually dying on me so the first thing any money is going to is the computer uh, what it's not going to go to that cards so I have obviously a cardboard crack addiction as many magic gathering players do there's cards everywhere in this room the patreon money will never go to cards unless it's a new product or unless it's something for the YouTube and it's major so I know there's a lot of drama going on with some magic gathering guy I'm not gonna name drop but basically he asks patrons for people to basically buy him cards and I kinda find that a little scummy so it's like you're probably making enough YouTube money anyway so why are you asking people to buy you the cards or whatever? I mean, I'll just buy that myself with my YouTube money. So unless it's like a brand new box that came out or something like that, anything for fun, same thing with games. Any games that I don't stream and I'm playing for fun, I'll use my own money for that. I'm not asking you guys for handouts for that, obviously. So basically I put cards and fun stuff. So no, the money will not go, to, the money will go to basically important things like bills, health, and if this computer dies. And charities and whatever else. Like if I get offered, for example, if I get offered to do a charity stream and I need to like upgrade something to do that charity stream, then yeah, that money's gonna go right to upgrading the charity stream because I am dying to do a charity stream. I've been dying to do this since like for like three years. So if you guys know any charity stream hookups, I would love to do a charity stream. So just let me know. Send me a inbox on YouTube or whatever. So the so why? So why am I doing this now? Medical issues and six years of not really asking for handouts. So, yeah, I've been doing this since about 2010. I've only gotten about, I think, three donations in my lifetime or four or something like that in my lifetime of doing this channel. So I've never asked for it because I never felt I actually needed it, even back in 2012. So in 2012, a lot of you guys may know or may not know, I had uh, a serious cancer in my neck. Uh, we kicked its ass and everything, and I still made videos. So if you go to my, a lot of my older Daisy videos that are super popular, those were done while I was actually, you know, on chemo. 
And unless that, unless you saw my hair or anything, you wouldn't even know that I was sick. Maybe I looked a bit skinny, but you know, I kind of acted like I had nothing going on and I just wanted to make videos, you know, for entertainment purposes. And even now, like I'm still sick with this whatever allergic reaction, which it's been five days, but you know, I'm trying my best to keep making videos for you guys and I'm having a lot of fun doing it and it's really cool. So uh, the medical issues are now piling on and I'm now getting threats to get kicked out of the house, this job situation that's going on. I mean, if you watch any of my vlogs in the past two weeks, you'll know all about that if you want to, but yeah, a lot of shit has hit the fan, so I think this is the time to finally ask you guys that if you want to support, and remember, you never have to support, and maybe only 1% of the stuff I do will be for patrons only, but the other 99% is for anybody to enjoy, because as long as YouTube is free and exists, I mean, we'll have to see what happens, because copyright drama, <laughs> as long as it exists, you will be getting my content pretty much for free, same thing with the live streams. Uh, let's see, so the, my channel goal, so I'm going to name drop two channels, you guys can make your own opinions on them, but I'm trying to become a variety channel, like Boogie2988, I think that's it, uh, he's a pretty popular YouTuber, you can go check him out, but he does basically variety channel, he does some gaming, he does some drama, he does some vlogs, he does some personal ramblings and stuff, I really enjoy his channel, and that's what I always wanted my channel to be, but with, I guess with a slightly more heavier gaming focus, but we'll have to see what happens. And then I also like the attitude of Tally the Tank. So Tally the Tank, which is spelled, actually I see it's put right here, T-O-W-E-L-L-I-E-E. -E -E. You'll see him streaming in the World of Warcraft thing, he's usually on top now. But I used to watch him back when I was sick a long time ago and he was just starting out. He's also used to be from the East Coast and I'm from the East Coast so we both had that same kind of attitude a little bit. I mean of course he's changed over the years, he's, I watched him actually mature, I've watched him go from you know, some of the most weirdest shit, like when Twitch TV first started and there wasn't really any rules. We've seen some crazy, I watched some crazy stuff, but I used to watch his channel religiously. And of course now I don't have as much time on my hands because, you know, I'm not sitting here taking chemo. But I would watch his channel for like 16 hours a day. Like as long as he would stream, I'd watch from beginning to end. And it was, it's the most funniest channel. It's still the funniest channel, but you know, because of Twitch's new rules in terms of services, he had to, you know, tone it down a bit, but he still has that same good old, you know, beat the troll attitude, you know, ham up, is I think his slogan, and, you know, you gotta ham the hammer, you gotta throw the hammer, what is it, fuck your face, or whatever he calls it, at the trolls that come in the channel, and it's a pretty troll-free channel, and that's why I love it. So, I mean, shout out to him, I haven't been able to watch his stuff as much as I want to, but we both kind of have the same attitude, and I think you can kind of tell I've been triggering a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? I mean, of course, I probably, I, I would assume I do it more than him, but, you know, triggering people makes some pretty good money. And, you know, as long as I'm enjoying triggering people and you guys enjoying triggering people, I mean, what, what, what's to lose? I mean, who cares? So, rewards. So, right now, my thing is, like, in beta. It's really, I don't know, it looks kind of crummy because I couldn't figure out how to work Patreon that well. But I, I can't even find the rewards. So, I kept entering the rewards, but the rewards are not showing up. So, I don't know if the rewards are there. I hope it's not there a thousand times, but right now in the plans I have a special input on future videos, so I think if you donate five dollars or more, you will have input on the Patreon page, so you can ask me, like, when I ask for a bonus video, you guys can shoot me some ideas of what you guys would like to see. Of course, that doesn't mean that you will get your video specifically, but it gives me kind of a guideline to do when I need to make some bonus videos for the Patreons. And of course, you don't have to be a Patreon to see those videos, they're not going to be exclusive. Sign Magic the Gathering cards. Now, I tried to do this, but I couldn't figure out Patreon and how it works because I'm really dumb when it comes to these donating things. So, I do want to do Sign Magic the Gathering cards, so that would be a one time thing. So, let's say you pledge $10 or more or whatever, I would actually mail you a signed Magic card. So, I would just take whatever Magic card, I mean, this is just a force, but I would just sign it and then mail it, and hopefully it will get to Europe. I mean, God knows what's going on with the planes and stuff, but, you know, hopefully your mail will get to you. Now, uh, what do you call it? Now, I did I did put one last thing, is no stream career. Now, I put explain, so I don't need this anymore. So, as far as streaming, I like streaming. Streaming is fun, but when I used to do it hardcore, which was back in about 2013, yeah, around 2013, I used to stream almost every other day for like seven hours straight or something like that. And unfortunately, I don't have the emotional capacity, and I don't have the physical capacity to stream. And a lot of people will say, oh, geez, no, streaming is easy. People just sit in their ass and they make money all day. But anyway, that's not really the case. Because when you have your chat flying a thousand miles a minute and a lot of people are spewing hate, bullshit, and how much they want to have sex with you and find your house, 
it could be a little emotional, emotionally stressful. Just to give a really quick time, we used to have one dude, I think he's finally banned, but we actually had one dude who laid in the chat for a while, and he would start doing these sexual references. And over time, you know, I just ignored him, but then soon he was like, oh dude, you know, I want to find you at your house, I want to fuck you hard and all this crap. And I'm like, oh, that's disgusting. So, and one, and we actually had one guy find one of my older residences where I used to live at, and you know, I banned his ass on the spot. But I mean, you know, it's a dangerous world out there, and people love the troll streamers, they love to send SWAT teams for fun. I mean, you can just Google all that stuff. So that's why I don't really want to stream as much, because if it ever gets to that point where we start having a lot of trolls in there looking for my personal info, which probably isn't too hard to find, you know, I'm not going to really, you know, I mean, I just hope I can, I can't really explain this the best, because, you know, social anxiety, you know, I haven't talked much about social anxiety, but I can't really explain it the best, but basically people have found where I have lived before, and if it ever gets to that point, that's obviously not going to motivate me to stream, because the last thing I want is a rabid fan. You know, if a fan shows up to my door, I mean, I'm, probably, I'm not going to answer the door anyway, but, you know, the last thing I need is somebody who hates my guts to show up at my door because, you know, he's on drugs or for the lulls and try to, like, egg my house or some shit. And, you know, nobody wants that. Nobody should get death threats on YouTube. But this is the world we live in now, so it's something you kind of just have to deal with. But that is basically why I only stream sporadically, and I don't know if I will ever get back to a streaming schedule. So I can't promise anything as far as the streaming part. Now, without going into emotional detail or anything like that, so uh, here's the extra stuff. So if you guys don't want to hear the extra crap, then <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. And here's the extra stuff. So why am I doing this now? So the main reason is basically because these last two weeks have been really hell. And it's basically down to the three tri the trifecta thing. Health. Unfortunately, I was not blessed with great health. I've had many health issues. I fought multiple different rare diseases and crap. We've kicked all their asses, but they're still coming, man. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm putting my life on a timer, but, you know, with things like cancer and stuff, you never know when it can come back. And while I've learned to deal with it, that's something a lot of people struggle with every single day, because you never know when you can wake up one day and then you start coughing up blood and stuff. And, you know, that's not something that any, I, I don't wish on anybody, really. And it's not, you know, it's not a fun thing to think about. So health, unfortunately, I don't have that. Money. I don't care about money. Even, even though I'm doing a Patreon asking for money, I still don't give a fuck about money. I mean, I just need it because I've obviously, I, I'm in a situation where, you know, my living situation is not, is completely unstable. So unfortunately, yeah, this is why I'm asking for money. Of course, the money's never needed. But, I mean, I am on the borderline of kind of, you know, not having a place to stay, so that's kind of why this video, that's kind of the major reason why this video is here, so, you know, if you'd like to see Jay Snow with a nice roof over his head and a computer and, you know, a meal to eat, <laughs> then donate to this Patreon. But, anyway, and then friends. Now, I'm not going to name drop friends, I'm not going to discuss which friends, because, unfortunately, we're back in 2012, right now, which is not good. So, to sum up 2012 for me on YouTube... I was making a decent amount of money, I was very sick, and my support from my friends was very, very low. So I think that's what developed my social anxiety, because I had pretty much a whole year of total isolation, because with while you're on chemo, you're not really allowed to hang out with people, because you can't afford to get sick from germs spreading and stuff. So there was that, but a lot of my friends kind of left me in the dust as far as that. And unfortunately, with this medical incident this week... Uh, I, I don't want to say I did a test because this is going to probably sound like a douchebaggy thing, but I've kind of, you know, I've made some posts on Facebook saying that, you know, I had a serious medical emergency and not really many, if at all, I think only one person or two people actually gave a fuck. So, I mean, I'm not going to name names and, you know, this may piss some people off on Facebook, but I don't really care, but I'm going to have to say that at least 90% 90, 90 of my friends are not really great friends. They're not, that doesn't mean they're bad people, but when it comes to me and their friendship and a friendship relationship, they're just not really that great. And I'm not going to say that I'm a great friend either, but then again, I've had so many medical issues and so many stupid stresses to deal with that I can't regularly to afford, I can't re really afford to have friends over my house because it's always, you know, some family drama going on or there's all these rules and stuff. So I can't really have, you know, a, you know, I can't have friends over very often, if even at all. So I haven't had friends over in quite a long time, maybe a year. So, I mean, I know it sounds pretty deep, but I'm just trying not to throw anybody under the bus. 
But, I mean, you know, it's multiples. And the thing is, if I look at 2012 and I look at now, it's kind of the same situation. I'm making more money. I'm whatever. My health is shit. And now I'm not really getting much <laughs> friend support or family support. And yeah, this time family support is also kind of low. And that's actually another major reason I need to get out of this house because I've pretty much just realized that in a serious medical emergency, everybody's pretty damn incompetent. <laughs> so yeah, uh, unfortunately for even medical emergencies, this is not a great place to be. But then we look at that now, and then we go back to 2012, and it was basically the same thing. Isolation, sick, some YouTube money, and very little to no interaction with friends. So yeah, this is going to sound, yes, it probably sounds sad and sappy, and you know, I don't want you guys to feel bad for me, because I'm fine. I feel happy. That was the only thing that I like to hold on to from those days. Yeah, despite having stage 4 cancer and having to go to the hospital for chemo and having random hospital visit, emergency visits, I was pretty damn happy because my channel was going in the direction I wanted it to go to back then. And the money, while it wasn't much, it was like $200 to $300 a month, it's definitely way better than a couple of Happy Meals, which I was making. Now, we're at, we're actually blew Happy Meals out of the war. I, I, can, you know, I can buy everybody Happy Meals now, but... <laughs> uh, what do you call it? I mean... You know, it definitely it was definitely chump change for the last two years, and now all of a sudden, I guess I did something right. I don't know what I did, but we're making a decent amount of money, but it's definitely nowhere near enough to support a person, especially where I live. Like, I might as well be on the streets than take YouTube money if it came to that case. So thanks for watching. Uh, the Patreon link is below. I hope you guys take a look at it. Yeah, it's a little bit... There's not really that much there. Unfortunately, I can't figure this out. I'm also still under the weather. But even if you guys just donate a single freaking dollar, you are doing more than what you could possibly do with 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 watching ads in regards to watching ads and stuff. So thanks for watching. I'm hoping to stream today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I want to stream today. But if not, then I'll try the next day and the next day until I get better, which I hope I get better. I mean, right now I've been up and down, which is not really that great, but I'm trying to get better. So thanks for watching as always. And remember, you don't even have to bother to subscribe to Patreon, and you can still enjoy 99% of the shit I have to offer you. And trust me, I've got some good, <laughs> you know, I always talk about the video oven on Twitter. The video oven on Twitter is going to be nice, you know, it's going to go back in baking mode pretty damn soon.